This shows how easy it is to do a data restore with Bacula Enterprise Edition. Here, we're using the B-Web Management Suite interface to recover a virtual machine from a Bacula job to a VMware server. Step one is to select the client that you used for backup, and the next step is to select the backup you want to restore. Then, you need to select the folder containing the virtual machine backup. In this case, we will restore everything in the folder because there's only one VM in there. Select it for restore by dragging it to the restore window. In step four, we define the restore options, such as which client, where to restore to, for example locally, or directly on the vSphere structure, which is the case here. Then click on Run Restore to begin the data recovery. When the restore job is finished and the job log is displayed, we can then restart the restored VM. Don't forget, Bacular Enterprise Edition can scale up to thousands of machines and you can have as much data backed up and restored as you want, with no extra software charges including unlimited sockets and CPUs. Here, you can see the recovered VM starting up. By the way, you can also do all of this by command line interface if you prefer, or combine both to give you a huge amount of options and flexibility. For more information on how to do physical, virtual and cloud backup and data recovery, all from one platform, go to BacularSystems.com. Thanks for watching.